All right, so welcome back to Kerbal Space Program, the hardest career series. This episode, we're going to begin our Moon Shot Program with the first unmanned flyby of the Moon. Once we complete this particular contract, another contract should appear to actually orbit the Moon. It should be quite progressive. So I'm going to take this one. We also do have place a relay satellite. Unfortunately, we don't have the ability to actually complete this contract. We have no relay sat uh, relay antennas available to us. We only have direct ones right now. That should change. Not too distant future. Okay, so the first flyby, unmanned flyby, of the Moon. Head to the VAB. I'll put a little spacecraft together. And then I'll bring you all in, show you what I've done, talk you through it, and I'll head out, and we shall begin the mission. Okay, so the first attempt at flying by the moon, we have to approach the moon and enter the sea of influence of the, uh, the body. That's all we have to do for this particular first mission. So this is the moon at 001. It is effectively exactly the same as the commsats that I mentioned in the previous episode that I've put uh, into equatorial and polar orbits. Got four antennas. These are combinable. Hopefully there'll be enough to actually reach the uh, at least one of the tracking stations on okay, so we'll keep in touch with this. Got the solar panels, QB again. Procedural batteries. I've got five of them. Main four square basically a four-sided square now the auxiliary just in case uh, once again those scraps of um, strikes and makes one of these batteries stop working reaction wheel we have an RCS thruster with a small tank embedded into the QBE itself it's supposed to have So lock it. I'm going to lock it for the launch because we've got RCS on the first stage for attitude control. Up to 87 meters per second. It's not a huge amount, but it might be enough just to modify the uh, the orbit, the trajectory, basically, and bring us into the sphere of influence of the Moon. Just in case the second stage doesn't do its job properly. 24.7 seconds. I'll lock that again. So it's on by throttle. No attitude control through RCS. It is completely purely through the reaction wheel. All right. So everything else, just about exactly the same. Okay. So put the fairing on. It'll take two days, one hour, sixty minutes and seventeen seconds. Just as before, it's going to cost 10,198. Just as before, I'm going to build three so I'm not hanging around in case this one sort of fails for whatever reason. Okay, so we'd have three in the build list. Yep, that's fine. I've still got these in storage. Okay, I'm going to head out. As soon as it's finished being built, I'm going to finish. I'm going to, I'm going to let all three of them build again. Once all three have been bit finished, it'll be about six days, maybe seven days. We'll head out to the launch pad. We'll launch from KSC again. And we'll try the first attempt at this mission. Okay, so we're about to launch our first attempt at intercepting the Moon. We have to be within 500 kilometers of the surface. We also have to, have to be on the uh, flyby trajectory as well, as a skip trajectory, so we can't go into orbit. Easier said than done because we have no tracking station upgrades. It's still at level zero. As such, we have no flight planning, so we are flying blind. So I'm going to head into the map view and see exactly when to actually launch, or at least a best guess anywhere. Okay, so the launch site is directly ahead of us. Just there. We have to try to intercept the moon. There are two ways of doing this. is a standard intercept and direct, it, uh, direct ascent. As I said, this is exacerbated. 
the problems of trying to do this because we have no flight planning. So we have no actual manoeuvre nodes to actually plan our manoeuvre. So basically it is a best guess. So I'm guessing intercept about there. We can always modify if we uh, if we need to. Okay, so I've got to wait until the moon. We'll see the money's going to move. So I may actually need to launch about here. But we shall see. Okay, so full throttle is on, SS is on, RCS is on. Let the tower fall back. Okay, so here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, as always, between five and six kilometers, I'll begin the gravity turn, then follow pro grid. Okay, so first this it's been extinguished. I'm hoping we're gonna get that first stage back again. So we've got the class number of uh, last two or three first stages seem to have got back quite easily. Okay. Let the fan go already and I've uh, activated the uh, antenna. Throttle is down. Okay, it's first stage go. Little kick just to get clear. Head to the uh, map view. Okay, low sensitivity. Just want to bring the air perhaps this as close to us as possible, not past it. Okay, so the paralysis should appear the opposite side of the orbit. As I said, it's just uh, it's just basically guesswork because we don't have flight planning, as I said. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, not too close. I'll try and keep this air. Yeah, perhaps it's as close as possible, not go past it. So increase and decrease the pitch, basically, relative to the horizon. So we should have enough delta V, but... Uh, wasn't carrying anything like as much weight as before, as we are now. Okay, it's going to flip. I think we won't know whether they're actually correct or not. So of course, we can't see. So we could actually intercept them on, and it still wouldn't tell until we actually do intercept them on. Stop just short. If I can. Okay, about there. I mean, I've got a tiny little thruster pack, as I showed you. Well, a single linear thruster actually on the top, so it's reversed actually. So when we go backwards, we have to face forwards. We want to go forwards, we want to face backwards because the thrust on the on the top of the spacecraft. Excellent. So we've got the first stage back again. Excellent. Five thousand forty-five this time. Previous episode, I believe, it's about five thousand and nine. We got back, so what? A little bit extra back there. Good. Okay. So we just have to wait until we get somewhere close 
to the moon. Okay, so we have intercepted the moon, but how close? 1,020 knots. We need to thrust towards the moon to bring that down. Actually, we need to thrust towards Kerbin. We can bring that down a little bit. Because we are going backwards. It's a bit confusing, this sort of view. We're actually going backwards. Because the moon is overtaking us. Okay, let's see if we can actually aim towards Kerbin. Where is Kerbin? Okay, the opposite way. Try and line that up a little bit. Okay, let's go back to the map view. Okay, so let's see if we can actually bring that down. Hopefully we've got enough delta V. We should have just got a fair bit left in the tanks. Keep it aimed on. We can't go into orbit though. 500. Okay, I'll stop there. Okay, so our ship has to be beneath beneath 500, 500 kilometers. It will be. All right, so unmanned vessel stay. Obviously, that you get the green tick once it's completed all of these underneath it. So it has to get to 500 kilometers. Okay, that's a first flyby of the moon within 500 kilometers. Unguided as well, so we've got no flight planning. That's year two, day 93. All right, so contracts. Yes, I'm on the flyby of the moon. Okay, 31,134 cash. Eight science. Wow, eight science. I'll have to read that twice. Eight reputation. We also got the world's first recent commissioning of our space program. I've attracted contributions from numerous organizations. We have initiated the first flyby of the moon. 15,600 cash, one science, two reputation. We have escaped the gravitational influence of the Kerbin. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. So 15,840 cash, two science, and three reputation. Very, very welcome. All right, that's unguided as well. There's no flight planning, as I keep saying. All right, so that is that. So we're well on our way with our moon shot program. Okay, but that is the end of this episode. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to click like. It is appreciated. Don't forget if you want to make a comment or a question, well, welcome to do so. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for this series and the series I'm going through right now and in the future. Don't forget also on Discord, Facebook and Twitter. you find it to all three of those platforms on the banner on the front page of the channel. Alright, so once again, thank you for watching. Hope to see you next time. As always, take care and bye-bye.